TV and we welcome you today as we go to ANCC All Nations Christian Center where we are going to meet precious people but at the service we are going to hear about the summer the summer that we've been waiting for the summer that everyone should be listening to the coming back of Jesus Christ you're welcome go with us praise the name of the Lord Jesus praise the name of Jesus my brothers and sisters, Duguzangu. the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 24, and verse number 14, Jesus says these words, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Uh, uh, I want to repeat this fact. Nataka nirudie kweli hii. We may be looking for a sign. Ndio, inawezekana tunatafuta ishara. Because even the disciples asked Jesus, what is the sign of the end of the age and of your coming? Kwa sababu hata wanafunzi wenyewe walimuuliza Yesu, ni nini ishara ya kuja kwako? Na ni nini ishara ya mwisho wa dunia? This is recorded in Matthew 24 verse 1 to 3. Hayo Matayo sura 24 mstari wa 3 na 4. They asked the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Walimuuliza bwana wetu bwana Yesu Kristo. When will these things happen? Kwamba mambo haya yatakuwa lini? What will be the sign of your coming? Je, ni nini ishara ya kuja kwako? And what will be the sign of the end of the age? Na ni nini ishara ya mwisho wa dunia? Hapo nasema mwisho wa dunia au mwisho wa nyakati. In verse 14 Jesus answers. Katika mstari wa 14 Yesu Kristo anajibu. He says and this gospel of the kingdom. Anasema anasema habari njema ya ufalme wa Mungu preached in the whole world itahubiriwa ulimwenguni kote as a testimony to all nations kama ushuhuda kwa mataifa yote and then the end will come na hapo ndipo mwisho utakuja i stand here to tell you today ninasimama hapa kuambieni siku ya leo that we are living in the times kwamba tunaishi katika nyakati we are living in the age tunaishi katika kipindi where the gospel is being preached ambapo injili inahubiriwa the gospel is being disseminated to all corners of the world injili inaendelea kuenezwa katika kona zote za ulimwengu on your phone iko kwenye simu yako it is in your radio iko kwenye radio yako it is in your television iko kwenye television yako it is plastered everywhere on the streets injili imebandikwa kila mahali kwenye njia unazopita wherever you go kila unakokwenda you find a church utakuta kanisa you find a preacher utakuta muhubiri telling you about the lord jesus christ atakwambia kuhusu yesu kristo we are not waiting for another sign hatusubiri ishara nyingine this is the only sign which jesus spoke of sasa hii ndio ishara pekee ambayo yesu aliongelea that the gospel will be preached unto all nations then the end shall come kwamba injili itahubiriwa kwamba taifa yote hapo ndipo mwisho utakuja praise the name of the living god if you are to ask me the question kama ungeniuliza swali when will the end come je mwisho utakuwa lini let me simply state to you kwa haraka au kwa kifupi nikwambie as we are seeing the fulfillment of this scripture kwa kadri tunavyoendelea kuona utimilifu wa haya maandiko when the last man on this earth kwamba atakapo mtu wa mwisho katika ulimwengu huu alive on the planet earth akiwa bado yuko hai katika dunia hii will hear the gospel atakaposikia injili in such a way that he can make a decision for or against christ kwa namna ambayo ataamua mwenyewe kwamba aamue kumfuata Yesu Kristo au amkatae then shall the end come sasa hapo ndipo mwisho utakuja praise the name of the living bwana Yesu asifiwe i say again praise the name of jesus nasema sana bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the name of jesus bwana Yesu apewe sifa i praise the lord for being involved in missions namshukuru na msifu Bwana namshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya kuhusika na na umisheni. And this year alone as we are coming to the conclusion he has opened new doors. Katika mwaka huu tu tunavyoendelea kuendelea mbele na kukaribia huko mshoni mshoni ameendelea kufungua milango mipya. See the beginning of this week. Mwanzo wa wa juma hili. We have a team which is going into the forest between uh, uh, Arusha and uh, and, uh, and and the region of Simiu. Na tuna timu ambayo inaenda kule porini kabisa. Eh mpakani mwa mkoa wa Arusha na mkoa wa, wa Simiyu. I made a survey of that region last year. Na mwaka uliopita mwaka jana nilifanya utafiti wa eneo hilo. Where we have three tribes which are unreached in that area. Mahali ambapo kuna makabila matatu ambayo bado hayajafikiwa na injili kwenye eneo hilo. But God has opened the door now. Lakini sasa Mungu amefungua mlango. There is a team which is going there. Kuna timu inaenda pale. Which is going to start work this next week. Ambayo wiki hii inayokuja timu hii inaenda kuanza kazi pale. God has opened another door. Mungu amefungua mlango mwingine. 
the southern corridor in Lindi and Mtwara where God has opened the door to start 15 churches. Tunaenda kwenye hii corridor ya kushindi huku Lindi na Mtwara mahali ambapo Mungu amefungua mlango na tunaenda kuanzisha makanisa 15. God has opened doors. Mungu amefungua milango. We are going to the islands of the sea where again God has opened the door to start 13 churches. Ah tunaenda kwenye kwenye visiwa hivi vilivyoko kule baharini ambapo na huko tunaenda kufungua tena makanisa kwenye hivyo visiwa. I'm saying this to say this. Ninasema haya ili niseme hiki. The end is at hand. Kwamba mwisho tayari upo. Are you ready for the coming of the king? Uko tayari kwa ujio wa mfalme? The king is coming. Surely he is coming. Mfalme anakuja na kweli anakuja. Because we live in the outworking and the fulfillment of this word which he said. Kwa sababu tunaishi na tunaweza kuona utimilifu wa hili andiko aliyolisema alifanya kazi. Praise the name of Jesus. Secondly I want to call your attention to the book of Revelation. Jambo la pili nataka ni kuelekeza kwenye kitabu cha Funuo. Chapter 1 and verses 3. Sura ya kwanza ule mstari wa 3. These are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na haya ni maneno ya Yesu Kristo. Ah uh, in the book of Revelation. Kwenye kitabu cha Funuo. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it because the time is near. Mstari wa 3. Heri asomaye na wao wayasikia maneno ya unabii huu. Na kuyashika yaliyoandikwa humo kwa maana wakati ukaribu. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This is scripture. Hili ni andiko. This is what the Bible says. Na hiki ndicho ambacho Biblia inasema. That blessed are you. Kwamba unaheri wewe. Who reads these words? Kwamba unayasoma maneno haya. But it says who reads aloud. Lakini anasema yeye anayasoma haya kwa sauti. There is someone who shares this word with others. Na hii inamaanisha kwamba ni mtu ambaye na yeye anayachukua maneno haya na washirikisha wengine. Church Kanisa. We must share this word with others. Lazima tuwashirikishe neno hili wengine. And the angel here states. Na malaika hapa anasema. Because the time is near. Kwa sababu wakati ukaribu. Therefore, kwa hiyo basi, take this word to heart. Lichukue neno hili liweke moyoni. I speak to you church. Nasema ninyi na ninyi kanisa. Young men and young women. Vijana wa kike na wa kiume. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah mabibi na mabwana. All of us in the house of the Lord today. Sisi sote katika nyumba ya Bwana siku ya leo. We need to take this word to heart. Lazima tulichukue neno hili tuwe nalo moyoni. This is what the Bible commands us. Hichi ndicho ambacho Biblia inatuagiza. We cannot just hear it and then leave it. Hatuwezi tu kulisikia alafu tukaliacha. We cannot be part of it and leave it aside. Alafu hatuwezi kuwa sehemu ya neno hili alafu tukaliweka kando. But take it to heart. Lakini lichukue liweke moyoni. That is be mindful of it. Hii inamaanisha kwamba ulijali uwe uone lina thamani. That is give it utmost concern. Hii inamaanisha kwamba ulipe wewe umakini wako wote. Give it priority and importance in your life. Lipe uh, kipaumbele na umuhimu katika maisha yako. And Jesus says, Alafu Yesu anasema, Because the time is near. Kwa sababu wakati ukaribu. My brothers and sisters. Ndugu zangu, the time is near. Wakati ukaribu. Let me call your attention again to the book of Revelation chapter 22. Niwaelekeze tena kwenye kitabu cha Ufunuo sura 22. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I thought if I had my car. Wewe alidhani pia kama kimpata gari yake. My own car. Gari yake mwenyewe. Things will be good. Mambo yatakuwa mazuri. And so I bought my first car. Wewe kanua gari lake la kwanza. 13,000 shillings I remember it to this day. Ambayo ilikuwa shilingi 1013 wanakumbuka mpaka leo. Today they will say that you know in those days you say that it's a car. Na unajua ingekuwa ni katika siku hizi ungesahau katika siku zile au katika siku hizi ungesema kweli hili ni gari. But let me tell you what they said even in those days. Hebu kwenye nikwambie hata katika siku hizi ile walisemaje. It was a, a small car Volkswagen Beetle. Eh eh. Ilikuwa ni ya uh, Volkswagen zile uh, zile ndogo Beetle na sikuwa mnazifahamu. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No unfortunately I've married a Muhaya. Eh eh. Oh rather fortunately I'm blessed I've, I've married a Muhaya. Eh. Yeah. Tunasema kwa baba ati nzuri amebarikiwa mke wake ni muhaya and so you know what they call those cars unajua haya magari wanahitaji they call them frogs wanaita frogs and so yani ni chura so i was disappointed that they are calling my car a chura bwana kafujika moyo kwamba wanaita gari yake wanaita chura praise the name of jesus i say again praise the name of jesus i'm speaking to you today unajua nasema na wewe leo because there is a longing desire in your heart ndani yako kuna ile hali fulani ya kutamani well where you think that if you reach a certain stage you'll be satisfied ambapo nadhani kwamba ukifika kiwango fulani utaridhika but let me tell you there is a thirst in you kuna kiu ndani yako which 
cannot be quenched by Coca-Cola. Ambayo haiwezi ikazimwa na Coca-Cola. There is a thirst in you. Kuna kiu ndani yako. Which cannot be quenched by afya drinking. Ambayo haiwezi kuondoshwa na ile maji yanaitwa maji ya afya. There is a thirst in you. Ah kuna kiu ndani yako. Which needs you to come to the fountain of life this morning. Ambayo inakuhitaji wewe uje kwenye chemchemi ya maji ya uzima asubuhi ya leo. The love of men or women will not satisfy you. Upendo wa wanaume wa wanawake hauta kutosheleza. In fact you are looking in the wrong places. Na kwa kweli bado natafuta mahali ambapo so sahihi. Satisfaction in material possessions will not satisfy you. Kutoshelevu katika vitu hivi vya dunia au vitu vya kuvipata vya hapa duniani havitakutosheleza. Whether it is money, it is power or sex, it does not satisfy. Uwe umepata labda pesa, uwe umepata labda uwezo na mdaraka fulani, labda uwe na na mahusiano ya kimwili, havitakuridhisha. There is only one thing which satisfies. Kuna kitu kimoja tu ambacho kinakuridhisha. And Jesus says, Whoever is thirsty, you come and drink from the water of life and drink free. Aje, 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 kwenye maji haya ya uzima na aje kwaje kunywa bure let me tell you what is the water of life wewe niwaambieni maji ya uzima ni nini the water of life is this word maji ya uzima na hili neno which promises us salvation through grace by faith in the lord jesus christ ambalo neno hili linatuahidi wokovu wetu kupitia neema ya kristo na kwa imani katika kristo yesu and this salvation is free na wokovu huu ni bure praise the name of jesus i say again praise the name of jesus amen amen in the book of mark chapter 13 kwenye kitabu cha Let me call your attention to that passage of Beginning verses 28. Paka kwanza ile mstari wa 28. Let's go all the way to verse 37. The Bible says this. Paka Biblia nasema. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and put some leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I say to you This generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But concerning that day or that hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. It's like a man going on a journey who, when he leaves home, and puts his servants in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake. Therefore, stay awake. For you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the, in the evening, or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. <laughs> Tawi lake lishapo kuwa laini na kuchanua majani matambua ya kuwa wakati wa mavuno ni karibu nanyi kadhalika mnyaonapo mambo haya yanaanza tamweni ya kuwa yu karibu mlango, milangoni amen na waambie kizazi hiki hakitapita hata hayo yote yatimie Mbingu na inchi zitapita lakini maneno yangu hayatapita kamwe mm. walakini habari ya siku ile na saa ile hakuna ju, aijuai mm-hmm. hata malaika walioko mbinguni wala mwana ila baba Salwa fahamna tatu angalieni kesheni ombeni kwa kuwa hamjui wakati ule utakao utakapokuwapo mfano wake ni kama mtu mwenye kusafiri ameiacha nyumba yake amewapa watumwa wake amri na kila mtu kazi yake naye amemwamuru thawabu akeshe kesho ni basi kwa maana hamjui ajapo mwana bwana wa nyumba kwamba ni jioni au kwamba ni usiku wa manane au awikapo jimbi au asubuhi asije akawasili ghafla akawakuta aka, aka mbele na hilo ni waambialo ninyi mm-hmm. na waambia wote mm-hmm. kesheni what i say to you i say to all stay na hilo awake na hilo ni waambialo ninyi na waambie na, na waambia wote kesheni praise the name of jesus Wana Yesu I want to make a couple of points here as i move forward nataka niseme mm-hmm. dondoo chache hapa na kuendelea mbele chapter 13 and verses 28 msari wa 13 asura ya 13 msari wa 28 jesus speaks of the fig tree yesu kristo anaongelea hapa mm-hmm. 
kuhusu mtini. And you know sometimes we find the analogy of the nation of Israel from this. Unajua wakati mwingine pia tunapata kwamba taifa la Israel linafananishwa na 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 picha hii ya mtini. And uh, we understand that when he speaks of this uh, he speaks of the resurgence of Israel as a nation which took place in 1948. And uh, he says that uh, uh, the generation which will uh, witness that uh, will not come to pass. Na anasema pia kwamba kile kizazi ambacho kitakuwa mashahidi wa tukio hilo litotokea basi kizazi hicho hakitapita. In other words he's saying that learn from this that the end is near. Na kwa maneno mengine anayosema kwamba jifunzeni kutoka jambo hili kwamba mwisho umekaribia. But uh, he's also teaching us to be alert to be awake. Lakini pia anatufundisha tuweze kuwa macho, tuweze kukesha. Uh, simply looking at the signs uh, will not help but you look at the signs and you order your life in relationship to what you witness na kuangalia tule zile ishara tu haitasaidia lakini ukaweza kuangalia zile ishara au zile dalili na ukaweka maisha yako ukapanga maisha yako na hiyo hali hivyo ndicho kitakachokusaidia i've lived in arusha for some time nimeishi arusha sasa kwa muda kadhaa there are trees which they call jacaranda i noticed these trees ah kuna binti ambayo wanaita jacaranda na mchungaji anasema ameiona hiyo binti it normally blooms when it's about uh, the short na biti hii kwa kawaida huwa inachanua au inatoa maua pale ambapo mvua za zile mvua uh, fupi zile za muda mfupi zinakaribia mvua uh, za, za kuli zinakaribia kunyesha and uh, that's around uh, mid october to the end of october na hiyo huwa inakuwa katikati hapo mwezi wa 10 mpaka mwezi wa 10 mwishoni hivi praise the name of jesus bwana yesu asifiwe and uh, these these trees they never miss the season. Na miti hii kama haijawahi kukosea au kupitwa na majira. Although I've noticed that because of uh, the change of weather patterns now, I I'm shocked to say that even trees are beginning to 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 to, to, to adjust they're adjusting it. I don't know shaka sana doctor. I didn't know no no this. Na mchungaji anasema kwamba ingawa ameshangaa kwa kiasi fulani kwa sababu alikuwa hajui uh, na hii ni kwa sababu ya mabadiliko ya tabia ya nchi na hali ya hewa mm. uh, miti hii imeanza kama vile yenyewe imeanza kubadilika yale majira yanakuwa yanatofauti tofauti inachanganyikiwa ehe <laughs> inashinde ifanye nini na wakati mwingine inatoa maua wakati ambao sio nilikuwa naangalia wakati naandaa huu jumbe nilikuwa naangalia na leo nilipofika hapa nimeangalia nikaona huko chini kuna mti mmoja wa jacaranda wenyewe tayari umeshachanua mwingine bado praise the name of jesus amen praise the name of jesus amen but Jesus here tells us. Lakini Yesu hapa anasema, you see you can look at nature. Kwamba unaweza tu kaangalia katika hivi vitu vya asili. See there are trees which bloom and you know that now the rain season is about. Kuna miti ambayo miti hiyo ikichanua unajua kabisa sasa kipindi au majira ya mvua yanaanza au yamekaribia. Praise the name of Jesus. Kwa Yesu again praise the name of Jesus. And so Jesus is telling us. Kwa Yesu hapa anatuambia. You know just take natural wisdom. Anasema like natural knowledge. Anasema hebu muwe tu ile hekima tu ya kawaida, maarifa tu yale ya kawaida. Because in normal circumstances when you see such trees bloom then you know that summer or rain season is near. Anasema katika kwa sababu katika mazingira hayo Mnapoona biti ya namna hiyo ikachanua basi mnaelewa kabisa kwamba kama ni majira fulani basi majira ya joto yanaanza au kama ni majira ya mvua majira ya mvua yanaanza. And so get yourself a wise heart. Kwa hiyo hebu iweni na mule moyo wa hekima. When you look at the world, mnapoangalia hili neno and you look around in the world, unapoangalia ulimwengu alafu kaangalia mambo yale yaliyoko ulimwenguni. Understand? Fahamu that the end is near. Kwamba mwisho umekaribia. Let somebody say amen. amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Bwana Jesus. Amen. 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 And then Jesus says, Alafu Yesu anasema. In verse 31, sala fadhna moja. He repeats it again he says anarudia tena anasema he says heaven and earth will pass away anasema mbingu na nchi zitapita but my word will not pass away lakini maneno yangu hayatapita my brothers ndugu zangu you know you can take this to the bank as they say nowadays that jesus is coming and he's coming soon anasema kwamba unaweza kuyachukua maneno haya na ukayahifadhi huko kama watu wanavyosema huko ambapo unaweza kuyahifadhi lakini kwa maana nyingine kwamba yesu anakuja kama alivyosema na anakuja kweli praise the name of jesus 
Second Peter chapter 3. Waraka wa pili wa Petro sura ya 3. Second Peter chapter 3. Waraka wa pili wa Petro sura ya 3. And if you remember I'm taking you back now to a passage of scripture which we began with when we were looking or when we began this series on the last days. Na kama mtakumbuka ndawapeleka tena kwenye ngile vifungo vya maandiko vya mwanzo kabisa tulivyoanza ambavyo tulipoanza huko mfululizo wa siku za mwisho. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. First of all, kwanza kabisa, Second Peter chapter 3 and we begin reading verse 3. Waraka wa Pilo Petro sura ya 3 na tuanze kusoma ile mstari wa 3. Na nisikilizeni wa Kristo maana wengine hamji kanisani hamwendi kwenye vikundi kwa sababu mmenunua kiwanja kwa sababu una site wale wako leo ni kwambie kweli Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I say again, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Another one said, oh, I bought a, I bought a pair of oxen. Mmoja akasema mimi nimenunua jozi jozi a jozi za 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 ngombe hawa makshai hawa mlima. And so I want to go and test them out. Kwa nataka niende sasa nione hawa ngombe wanalibaje. Nikawajibu Praise the name of Jesus. So they came with different excuses. Some of them said, "Look, I've just married a wife, and the scripture says that I must remain in half for one year, so I cannot come to the banquet." Now, everybody, you know, sometimes the, the devil can give you scriptural excuses. Now, we give you a sense of when you are just a little bit lower, you can go into. Now, my dear, when I say, "Ma, you know, we are going to go to the banquet. We are going to go to the banquet. We are going to go to the banquet." But the point is that these people have got sensual desires, they have got temporal things which they have attached value to and they excuse themselves from the greatest invitation. Lakini swala hapa ni kwamba watu hawa walikuwa na udhuru na udhuru ni kwa sababu vitu hivi ilikuwa imeshikamana na mioyo yao na vitu hivi sivyo kudumu vya muda tu. Kwa hiyo tamaa zao na shauku zao zikavutwa kwenye hivyo vitu wakasahau mambo ya thamani ya umilele ambayo walipaswa kuyafuata. Wakasahau mwaliko wa umilele. Leo nasimama hapa kutoa mwaliko wa umilele. Huko mwaliko wa umilele. Usiache moyo wako ukashikamana na mambo yatakayokufanya ukauacha mwaliko wa milele. Haleluya. Haleluya. Oh praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Tumealikwa. Bwana harusi ya mwana kondoo. Tunakwenda. Bwana harusi ya mwana kondoo. Usikubali moyo wako ukashikamana na mambo yoyote yale ukatoa udhuru kwenye mwaliko huu wa milele. Amen. Inawezekana leo hujampa Yesu maisha yako au unaingia na kutoka kanisani lakini hujamwamini Yesu uko mwaliko wa milele wa kunywa maji ya uzima na ukaokoka maisha yako yakabadilishwa ukapata urithi pamoja na watakatifu. Amen. Oh praise the name of Jesus. I say again praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now in verse 5 the Bible says they, but they deliberately overlook this fact. That the heavens existed long ago and the earth was formed out of water and through water by the word of God. By these waters also the world of that time was deluged and destroyed. Up to verse 6. Ya kuwa zilikuwa po mbingu tangu zamani na inchi pia imefanyizo kutoka katika maji na ndani ya maji kwa neno la mungu kwa hayo dunia ile ya wakati ule iligarikishwa na maji ikangamia praise the name of Jesus what is that if you oh yeah the scripture tells us kwa hapa hapa maliko ya natuambia so you see when 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 we give reasons we forget one thing kwa hiyo kwa hiyo hizo sababu kama hawa liko kwa natuwa sababu tunasau jambo moja and the apostle Peter here teaches us. Nas, na na mtume Petro hapa na tufundisha jambo hili. Says the world existed a long time ago. Anasema ni kweli, ulimwengu huu umekuepo tangu siku nyingi. But there are two things you need to put in. Lakini kuna mambo mawili ambayo unapaswa uyaangalie. To put in mind. Ambayo unapaswa uyaangalie. That the world which was. Kwamba ulimwengu uliokuepo huyu. It was destroyed by a flood. Ulimwengu ule 
kuliharibiwa kwa mafuriko praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And he's talking of two instances here. Na hapa anaongelea mambo mawili. Bible scholars believe that after the rebellion of Lucifer uh, the world which was was destroyed by a flood and that is why in Genesis chapter 1 when we come to verses 2 uh, we find that the waters are, are covering the world and God recalls or recreates from that state and so in verse 5 it says the world was formed out of water again. And then in verse 6 it says, By these waters also the world of that time was deluded and destroyed. And so what is Peter saying? God has judged the world before. And he will judge it again. Do not deliberately forget that fact. Praise the name of God. Let's go to verse 8. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. And verse 9a says the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. The point is this, my brothers and sisters. Even if we are in 2017, hata kama tuko katika elfu elfu mbili na kumi na saba. And Jesus declared in the first century. In fact, it was AD even. It is still it was still AD. Na Yesu alitamka. Iri kwa bado ni AD ni baada ya kuzaliwa kwa Yesu. Mwenye yuko karibu ya kwanza. That is going to come back again. Kwamba ni takuja. Two thousand years have elapsed. Ni akel fu mbili me bita. But remember. Lakini kumuka. To the Lord. Two thousand years. Biaka el fu mbili kwaki. It's only like two days. Ni kama vile ni siku mbili tu. Because with him, one day is like a thousand years. Masababu kwaki kwa upande wake yeye. Siku moja kwaki. And a thousand years is like one day. And so he says, think of this. For him, he exists out of the realm of time. And so he says, think of this. For him, he exists out of the realm of time. For him, he exists out of the realm of time. For him, he exists out of the realm of time. For him, he exists out of the realm of time. Out of the realm of time. You go in your kabisha when you libeng wa mau muda how mduru. He is eternal. Yeah, you are believing. Let me hear an amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And he is not slow in keeping his promise. Na yeye hadi chelewa katika kuitimiza hadi yake. As some people seem to understand. Kama wewe ide ababu wa nadar ni kwamba ame chelewa. Let me take this moment to encourage you, my friend. Kwenye nchini kwa muda ni watia ni moyo lugha. You may have been waiting on the promise of the Lord to be fulfilled in your life. Dio ina wewe kanda uli. Whatever it is, it is valid. Even if you are not married, you are not married. But you are not alone. If it is a husband or a wife, come on, you are not alone. You are not alone. May God give you that husband. May God give you that wife. Because life will go on until Jesus comes. Or maybe you are waiting for a child. May God give you that child. It might be a job or any form of prosperity which you are looking to. May the desire of your heart be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. But put this in your spirit. God is not slow in keeping his promise. And your age or your body does not matter in God fulfilling his word. Praise the name of Jesus. This is the word of scripture. And so God is not slow. In fact, the greater the miracle when it seems that time has elapsed. Now, uh, for Kweli, 
inakuwa sasa muujiza unakuwa mkubwa na unakuwa wenye nguvu zamani au samani zaidi maana mm. mambo inaonekana muda ulikwenda na umesubiriwa sana praise the name of Wana Jesus i say again praise Nasa the name of Jesus sisiwe haleluya haleluya haitajalisha kwamba unaolewa nywele zimesha kuwa nyeupe ni mvi tu zinafanana na shala tunashindwa kujua shala ni ipi na nywele ni ipi <laughs> lakini bwana ametenda jina la bwana ni bwana oh glory be to god amen haleluya haleluya amen au na kama hali mtoto anakukimbilia alafu watu wanachanganyikiwa anakuita baba wao wanafikiri kwamba anatakiwa kuite babu lakini anakuita baba jina la bwana libarikiwe amen amen god is not slow in fulfilling his promise mungu hachelewi katika kutimiza ahadi yake but now when we come to the issue of the day of the lord sasa tunapokuja sasa katika swala la siku ya bwana Verse 9b says this. Mstari wa 9 sehemu ya 2 anasema hivi. See when when you think that he is slow it is because he has a reason. Anasema ninyi unavyodhani kwamba amechelewa ni kwa sababu anayokusudi anayo sababu. He says he is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance. Anasema bali kuvumilia kwenu. Bali kuvumilia kwenu. Maana hapendi mtu yoyote apotee bali wote waifikirie toba. Let me put it to you today. Wewe niweke kwenu hivi. Why do you think Jesus has not come? Kwa nini unadhani Yesu hajaja mpaka sasa? It is for two reasons. Ni kwa sababu sababu mbili. For na, number one as a believer he wants you to put your act together. So, ya, ya, sababu ya kwanza wewe kama mwamini anataka uweke mambo yako vizuri let me hear an amen, amen. praise the name of Jesus Jesus asifiwe and for you as somebody who has not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ Alaf, he wants you to repent and believe in him and please do it today alafu kwako wewe ambao bado ni kwa hujamwamini Yesu Kristo anataka wewe utubu umwamini na uweke imani yako katika yeye anafanya hivyo leo he is not coming because he's patient with you haji kwa sababu ana kuvumilia wewe he wants you to put your act together anataka uweke mambo yako vizuri he wants you to repent anataka na wewe ambao bado hujatubu utubu and be restored to him alafu rejeshwe kwake as a believer he wants you to repent and be restored to him ukiwa kama mwamini anataka utubu na urejeshwe kwake praise the name of jesus yes. and as an unbeliever he wants you to repent and enter into a new life with him na kama mtu ambaye hujaokoka bali anataka wewe uokoke utubu Alafu uanze maisha mapya pamoja na yeye. Praise the name of the Lord. We go to verse 10 and he says this. Tunaenda kwenye mstari wa 10 anasema hivi. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. Lakini siku ya Bwana itakuja kama mwivi. That is you won't be patient forever. Na hii inamaanisha kwamba hautaendelea tu kuvumilia tu milele. The end will come and it will surely come. Na kweli kabisa mwisho utakuja na utakuja kwa hakika. He will come the end the day of the Lord will come like a thief. Lakini siku ya Bwana itakuja kama mwivi. Mark chapter 13 and verses 32. Mark sura ya 13 mstari wa 32. It will come suddenly. Itakuja ghafla. But concerning that day or that hour no one knows not even the angels in heaven nor the son but only the father. Sala za kuna bili. Walakini habari ya siku ile na saa ile hakuna ijuae hata malaika walioko walio mbinguni wala mwana ila baba and so we come back to the word of jesus here that the day of the lord will come suddenly kwaya tunarudi hapa katika maneno aliyosema yesu kwamba siku yake itakuja ghafla praise the name of jesus bwana yesu asifiwe therefore in mark 13:33 marko 13:33 therefore be on guard keep awake for you do not know when the time will come Angalieni kesheni omeni kwa kuwa hamjui wakati ule utakapokuwapo Therefore stay awake verse 35 Tell of not done You do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or in the morning Kesheni bas kwa maana hamjui ajapo Bwana wa nyumba kwamba ni jioni au kwamba ni usiku wa manane au awikapo jimbi au asubuhi and verse 37 the last part says and what i say to you i say to all stay awake that is be vigilant ladies and gentlemen be vigilant msara wa na saba na hilo ni waambialo ninyi na waambia wote kesheni ndugu zangu mabibi na mabwana kesheni muwe macho 
Praise the name of Jesus. What is that? that is be in a state of alertness because the Lord is coming and is going to come anytime. Na hii inamaanisha kwamba tuwe katika ile hali ya kuwa macho, hali ya kutazamia kwamba Bwana anakuja na anakuja wakati wowote, muda wowote. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Thessalonike wa kwanza sura ya 5. Verses 5 to 8. Mstari wa 5 mpaka wa 9. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do. But let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober. Having put on the breastplate of faith and love. And for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Salvatalo, kwa kuwa nini nyote mekua wana wanuru na wana wapuchana. Sisi si wa usiku, wana wagiza. Basi tusilale usingizi kama wengine mm -hmm. bali tukeshe na kuwa na kiasi mm -hmm. maana walalao usingizi hulala usiku pia na wale wao hulewa usiku lakini sisi tulio wa mchana tuwe na kiasi mm -hmm. hali tuki, tukijivika kifuani imani na upendo na chapio yetu iwe tumaini na wokovu praise the name of Jesus now this is the instruction to us believers sasa haya ni maelekezo kwetu sisi waamini as believers we are told kama waamini tunaambiwa hivi you see we are people of light sisi ni watu wa nuru wa mchana we are like servants in a household where the master has traveled sisi ni kama watumishi kwenye nyumba au kwenye kaya ambapo bwana wa ile nyumba amesafiri and we don't know what time is going to come back alafu hatujui atarudi muda gani but we are told to stay away lakini tumeambiwa tuwe macho tukeshe because he might come at a time when we do not think kwa sababu anaweza kurudi wakati ambapo sisi hatudhani praise the name of jesus bwana yesu asifiwe there is a funny proverb i had some years ago and i like it kuna 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 mithali flani au 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 kama mithali au mfano flani ambao una ni mzuri wa kuchekesha lakini haupenda niliosikia miaka flani ya nyuma. But I want you to put it in your spirit. Lakini nataka uliweke hili uweke rohoni mwako. See they used to say like this. Kulikuwa na walikuwa nasema hivi. That when the cat is away the mice play. Walikuwa nasema hivi. Paka anapokuwa hayupo basi panya wanacheza. My brothers and sisters. Ndugu zangu, do not be like a rat who is now playing because the cat is away usiwe sasa kama kama panya kama panya huyu sasa uwanja ni wa kwake kwa sababu paka hayupo mhm eh anacheza paka hayupo bali now somebody else gave a different meaning to that sasa mtu fulani akaakaa akatoa maana au kaleta ufafanuzi tofauti na na yani kufafanua hiyo mizali kwa namna hii he said it like this alisema hivi when the cat is away anasema paka anapokuwa hameondoka hayupo he will come back later. Ujua huyu paka atarudi baadaye. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu sijisahau kajiachia ukafikiri kwamba ah ameondoka eh how many of you have ever been children eh? Wagapi wewe he? Mwai kwa watoto. Some of you most of you have never been children but some of us were children you know. Wengi wewe hujawahi hujawahi kuwa watoto lakini baadhi yetu tulisha kuwa watoto. We know the the frenzy and the franticness of putting things together before the old man and the old woman come back you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. we you try putting things together and sometimes you know sometimes yani, it's very funny you can even break some things <laughs> and you, you think that they're foolish you try to put a cup together and the cup of them yani kikombe umevunja lakini unajaribu kukitegeshea pale kwenye kabati ili mama akigusha iwe yeye ndio amevunja Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Eh, si mnafahamu hizo harakati za kuweka mambo sawa. Wengine wamelamba sukari hapa, sasa imetokea shimo kabisa unajua imepungua. Sasa unaanza kuitingisha hivi, unatingisha hivi akija akiangalia na wazazi wengine bwana waache tu. Wakija wanaanzia kule kule wanapojua ulikuwa kwenye sukari. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Sikuizo wengine ni wajanja zaidi. Wamekwambia usiangalie TV soma. Akirudi anaenda moja kwa moja kwenye TV anashika kama ina moto. Anajua uliwasha. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh praise the name of Jesus. Mwenyezi asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Ila sasa sikuizo TV sio za lazima sana. Kuna simu 
Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Amen. And so let us not be like such children. Let's understand. Let's understand that we are children of light as it says in 1 Thessalonians 5:5. kwamba sisi ni watoto wa nuru au wa mchana. Let us stay awake. macho Which means let us say no to ungodliness. Let us choose to grow in grace and the knowledge of God. You know, it is the power of grace which enables us to say no to ungodliness. This is not a gospel of do and don't. Praise the name. Let's walk in the light as we are children of light. But the second thing as believers, as we wait for the coming of the Lord, let us work for the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to speak to our brothers and sisters about the coming of the Lord. We are people who are invited to the banquet. But we also carry with us an invitation to others to come to the banquet. And so let us go and reach as many people as possible with this message that the king is coming. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us come and let us come and let us come and and ready for the coming of the king. Praise the name of Jesus. Now I want to speak to you who you might be our guest today and have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you this. The word of God is true. It's yea and amen. Let me tell you this is one of the reasons I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I have found in his word a sure compass for my life. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. I say again, praise the name of Jesus. His word is sure. It will be fulfilled. There is no reason to doubt it. And I want to tell you this. God is not a man that he should lie. What he has said, he will do. And I want to challenge you today to believe in this word. Jesus said that no person shall be able to enter the kingdom of God lest they be born again by the power of the Spirit and the word of God. This is what is called the new birth. I can put it this way simply. That at one time we were Christians. But we were Christians without the Christ. But now, after believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, after consciously and purposely and intently asking Him to come into our lives, to forgive us of our sins and to be the Lord of our lives we became saved and from there on we stand let me hear an amen praise the name of Jesus praise the name of Jesus you may ask another question but why hasn't the coming of the Lord taken place yet 
hajatokea. It has not taken place because of you. Lakini hakujatokea kwa sababu yako wewe. God is waiting for you to give his life your life to him. Mungu anakusubiria wewe utoe maisha yake, maisha yako kwake. And so it's not a question of when but it's a question of you now surrendering to the Lord. Kwa hiyo swali swali hapa sio kwa nini hajaja bali swala ni kwamba ni wewe sasa usalimishe maisha yako kwa Yesu Kristo. And finally na hatimaye we may all ask ourselves. Tunaweza wote wote tunajiuliza. Is it going to happen? Je, itatokea? I want to tell you that it is going to happen. Nataka nikwambie hivi itatokea. The question is not is it going to happen? Swala au swali hapa sio je itakuwa itatokea? But the question is are you ready if it happens? Bali swala ni hili. Je, kama akitokea kama akija huko tayari the question is are you ready when it happens swala liko hivi je likitokea hili jambo au akija wewe uko tayari let's stand on our feet i have to conclude here today praise the name of jesus Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. But then I want to make a second altar call. If you are here today and you have never given your life to Jesus Christ. I want to tell you that you are not saved. You may be a Christian by name or you are a religion you choose to follow. But you don't have to be a Christian. Au kwa sababu uko kwenye dini fulani ambapo upo. But I want you to know. Lakini nataka ujue. That faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, a living relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is our ticket of salvation. Kwamba imani katika Yesu Kristo mm. na uhusiano wako ulio hai wewe na Yesu Kristo ndio ticket yetu ya kwenda mbinguni. And I want to give you an opportunity today. Nataka nikupe fursa siku ya leo. Do not come into the house of the Lord and just leave as you came in. Usije kwenye nyumba ya Mungu alafu kaondoka kama ulivyokuja. But I want to give you an opportunity to Lakin. believe to receive the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. Lakini nataka nikupe fursa umwamini na umpokee mm. Yesu Kristo katika maisha yako. Praise the name of Jesus. You may even have been born in a Christian home. Or you may even be you might even be residing with Christians at this point in time. Let me tell you that the salvation of your parents will not will only take you to a certain extent. The salvation of the people you stay with will only take you to a certain extent. You need a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and that is my call this morning. Nataka nikwambie kwamba uokopo wa wazazi wako utaweza tu wewe kukusaidia na kuufahamu kwa kiwango fulani tu paka paka namba wako mahali fulani. Au watu wanaoka uokovu wao utajifunza na utakupeleka paka hatua fulani. Lakini nataka nikwambie leo kwamba unahitaji wewe mwenyewe utoe maisha yako kwa Yesu Kristo. Give your life to Jesus this morning. Toa maisha yako kwa Yesu asubuhi leo. Let him take control of your life. Yeye ruhusu atawale maisha yako. I'd like to pray for you. Na ningependa nikuombee. If you're here today and you say, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to be saved. I'd like to pray for you. Kama uko hapo, unasema mtu gani? Nataka nitoe maisha yangu kwa Yesu Kristo. Nataka niokoke. Nataka nikuombee. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise Jesus. Then one else who says, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus today. Je, kuna yangu kwa Yesu Kristo. I want to be ready for the king when he comes. Nataka niwe tayari kwa ajili ya mfalme mara atakapokuwa anakuja. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you wonderful ladies to escort to escort this young woman up front and I want you to lead her. Uh, to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Nataka kusaidie huyo dada mzuri kabisa mlete mbele. Alafu muweze kumsaidia aweze kumpokea Yesu Kristo. 
praise the name of Jesus. Let's give the Lord a wonderful hand for her. She's wonderful. I want us to welcome the CEO of the family. I want us to welcome this young girl into the family of God. Let's put our hands together and just pray. Let's put our hands together and just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you because this is a precious individual in your sight. Asante kwa sababu mtu huyu ni kwa sababu sana mbele zako. It is for that it is for her you sent your son to die on the cross for the forgiveness of her sins. Na ni kwa sababu yake wewe ulimtuma bwana wa Yesu Kristo akafa msalabani kwa ajili ya msalaba wa dhambi zake. Now father on the basis of her confession. Sasa baba katika msingi huo huo wa toba aliyefanya her sins are forgiven dhambi zake zimesamehewa and her name is written in your book of life na jina lake limeandikwa kwenye kitabu cha uzima may your holy spirit roho wako mtakatifu the spirit of life roho wa uzima come upon her aweze kuja juu yake and break every bandage of sin na kuvunja kila kifungo cha dhambi in the authority of the name of jesus kwa mamlaka ya jina la yesu and cause her to come alive in you oh god na usindie bwana aweze kuwa hai na upya katika wewe and to be alive and righteousness from this day onwards na kuanzia leo na kuendelea aweze kuwa hai kwa mambo ya haki in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu father we pray for her heritage bwana tunaomba kwa ajili ya urithi wake that she will no she will no longer look at her earthly heritage Bwana kwamba kuanzia sasa hata aelekeza macho yake kuangalia urithi wake wa hapa ulimwenguni. But the earthly heritage is broken in the name of Jesus. Bali ule urithi wake wa mambo ya hapa duniani umevunjwa katika jina la Yesu. Sicknesses and disease. Bwana barani na magonjwa which may be of natural inheritance. Ambaye anaweza kuwa ni mambo ambayo yangeweza kuyarithi kwa hali ya kawaida tu. A cause in the destiny of life which may may may, may be of natural inheritance. Hali fulani ya hatima maisha yake ambayo inawezekana atakuwa labda angeweza kuirithi kwa sababu ya maisha yake hapa. Father we ask. Baba tunaomba that she will receive a new destiny, a new heritage by virtue of her new birth in Jesus Christ. Tunaomba kwamba Bwana ataweza kupata urithi mpya, ataweza kupata hatima mpya kwa sababu pia msingi huu wa kuzaliwa upya katika Yesu Kristo. Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu. I bless her. Tunabariki. Blessings of salvation. Baraka za wokovu. In the authority of the name of Jesus. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. And Satan na shatani, we have no authority over her. Hauna mamlaka juu yake. We have no more demands over her. Hauna matako yoyote juu yake. Neither have you any right over her. Na wala huna haki zozote juu yake. From this moment onwards. Kuanzia sasa na kuendelea. She is marked as a child of God. Amewekwa alama kama mtoto wa Mungu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Father may the entrance of your word bring light into her spirit. Baba, uingilie maneno yako katika moyo wake, ulete nuru katika roho yake. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina la Yesu wetu. Let everybody say amen. Na kila mtu aseme amen. Watu wa Mungu mmebarikiwa. And yes, we have come to the end of the service where the pastor was preaching about the coming back of Jesus Christ, the second coming of Jesus Christ. You may ask yourself, what will happen? Am I ready for the coming of Jesus Christ? Ask yourself. But also we had someone who got saved. They received Jesus to be their personal savior. But also we were given an opportunity to go back to Jesus, to refresh back and go back and see how we ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for watching us. Be blessed. I am Lydia Namayani on BTV.